This is CBS. Indy, over here. Indiana Jones at your service, Toad. Ah! <laughs> Indiana Jones and other action figures new from Raiders of the Lost Ark Collection, each sold separately. Watch him, Kyber, swordsman. Yeah, watch my swing. Yikes! Ooh. All downhill from here, swordsman. You'll be sorry, Jones. Tricky again, Toad. Indiana Jones, Toad, and Cairo Swordsman action figures, each sold separately from Raiders of the Lost Ark Collection, new from Kenner. Hey, what you eating? A neat candy bar. Boy, is it crispy. Sounds good. It smells peanutty. What do you call it? Whatchamacallit? Whatchamacallit? That's right. What's right? The name. What name? Whatchamacallit? You forgot the name? Whatchamacallit, the totally different crunchy bar of peanutty tasting crisp drenched in chocolate. Whatchamacallit from Hershey. You can ask for it by name. I guess so that. Some luck. Enter the Star Cave, Saturdays on CBS. There! As three talking pandas meet up with mystical characters. Pandemonium, Saturdays on CBS. Colorful, magical, wonderful, wow. Is coming, just look at him now. Super sensational, special and new. The captain is coming with something for you. Here comes Captain Kangaroo. Take a look, gonna love it. Having fun, so much of it. Captain Kangaroo is you. We'll make this day so great for you. Colorful, magical, wonderful. Wow. Our show will begin after these messages. Slinky and Plastic Slinky. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, for fun it's a wonderful toy. What walks downstairs alone or in pairs and makes a slinkity sound. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing, everyone knows it's Slinky. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, for fun it's a wonderful toy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. Slinky and Plastic Slinky, each sold separately, a Slinky brand toy. This boy is losing his bounce. Why can't he bounce back? He didn't fuel up huh? with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you bouncing. Wow! Cheerios! And now, here comes the captain. Oh, we're looking forward to some fun on this visit. What are you two doing with Hi, all those ping pong balls? Evan, well, Mr. Kathy. Moose asked us to take him to the park. The park? Mm-hmm. To the park? Yeah, yeah. He said they needed the fresh air. That's right, Captain. There is not a ping pong ball left in the captain's place because they're all going to be at the park with us. No kidding. That's right. Well, let me hold the door for that. Oh, well, thank okay. you. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay. <laughs> Not a ping pong ball left in the place. <laughs> this is a day I've been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> Mr. Moose? Oh, hi. How are you doing? Fine. What do you want? How would you like to hear a knock knock joke? You want to tell me a knock knock, Captain? Right. <laughs> okay, let's hear Yourself. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Jesse. Jesse who? Did you see any ping pong balls around here? <laughs> no. But I see hay. Hay. <laughs> I forgot about the hay. Yeah. <laughs> Get yourself a basket, bundle of rope, great big bag that they call an envelope. Get yourself some friends that'll pitch right in, put it all together with a bolt and a pin. 
Fill it up with air, heat it up real hot. Step right back and take a look at what you got. Muster up your courage, jump right in. Take a ride upon the wind. Flying up high in the sky, floating on the air. I don't care where I was flying in the sky. I don't know why. Soaring on the wind, won't you jump right in? Take a ride in my balloon. Look around you, hold on tight. Look down at the world, it's a mighty fine sight. Floating on the wind, wherever it blows. Where will it take you? Well, now nobody knows. Let her down easy in a nice soft place. When you step out, you have a smile on your face. Everybody's there to help and sing a little tune. That flying big balloon, flying up high in the sky, floating on the air. I don't care where I was flying in the sky. I don't know why. Soaring on the wind, won't you jump right in? Take a ride in my balloon. There you are. Carrots for your dinner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you'll be careful and not let you know who get them. You gotta be kidding. Don't you worry, Mr. Green Jeans. They're safe with me. Heard that one before. Oh, <laughs> Big bunny rabbit and get carrots for me. They'll be perfectly safe right there in the drawer. Yeah, I'll never get a hold of them. Look at this place, will you? Look at this. What a mess. Hey. Let the hat fall off the hat tree, leave it right there on the floor. Look at the book. The book belongs on the bookshelf. Look at this banana peel. What's a banana peel doing? Somebody eats a banana and just leaves the banana peel right there on the desk. Wow. What a mess. And toys, they belong in the toy box. Ugh. Captain, you, you don't have to pick those things up. I don't, no. huh? Uh-uh. Well, if I don't pick them up, who will? Bunny Rabbit's new wind-up machine. Bunny Rabbit's new wind-up machine? Yeah. You see, everything winds up where it belongs. Look, I'm not in the mood for tricks. No, honest, really. It does exactly what I said. You won't have to bend over and pick things up anymore. I won't? No. You see, you just put the key in the machine and wind her up absolutely free. Really? Yeah, there, there's the key right here. All right, what do I do? Okay, now, you, you want to put the hat where it belongs, right? I want to put so, the hat from the floor onto the hat tree. Yeah. So, just put the key in the keyhole, marked hats, and wind her up. What can I lose? Fine. Right. Hey! Yeah? Mr. Moose Bunny has invented something very useful, hasn't he? He has an incredible mind. Well, I don't know about that. Let, let's see if we can uh, get the book back on the shelf. Okay, just in the box, right. Not bad. Incredible. Okay, now let's get the, the teddy bear back in the toy box. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, that's terrific. <laughs> that's very good. Yep, incredible. Oh, now we got to get rid of the banana peel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'll put the thing in there. Put there. Huh? What? of food, so they wound up where they belong, which is obviously in Bunny's hutch. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> you bet. You bet. I know. He's got an incredible mind. Oh, boy, does he ever. What about this banana peel? Oh, yeah, well, you know, things do wind up in the wrong places sometimes. But look at it this way, Captain. No one can slip on the banana peel 
If it's in the drawer... That's one way of looking at it. What an incredible mind. Hasn't he, though? He'll do anything, anything to get a bunch of carrots. Anything but ask for them. Every day there's something new To see or be or think or do Look what's happening, look what's new Look what's happening, look what's new My name is Randy, and I'm a dog with an important job. Just about every day, I go out with my friend Sasha. Sasha may be a little young, but she's learning fast. When we go out, we usually take some other animals along with us. We take kittens, lots of kittens. Of course, we always take along a puppy or two. All of us animals live here at the ASPCA. That's because we were abandoned once, but we're not abandoned now. We've got our own special family to visit. When we travel, we even have our own car with a place for everyone. Even me! I really enjoy going out. I know we're going to have a good time with the family. The family that has adopted us has about 30 children. The children are in the hospital. Some of them have trouble moving their hands and feet. But handicapped kids are like kids everywhere. They all love animals. And that's where we come in. Doctors at the Hospital for Joint Diseases in New York City say that our visits help the kids a lot. If a kid can't have a pet of his own, it's a real treat just to feed a dog. And it's kind of nice for the dog, too. <laughs> okay, we'll move the chair. Good job, good job. <laughs> this part of the job, Sasha can really get into. Of course, it doesn't take too much talent just to be petted. Happiness is definitely a warm puppy. But sometimes a dog has to do more. That's when it's time for some of my famous dog tricks. performing for the kids. They like it too. Gee, I'm really one lucky dog. I'm down to Fort Bread County, old St. Bernard. I'm just warm and soft and friendly and I'll hang around your yard. Be my pal and I'll be a friend to you. I can fetch a newspaper, I can jump a stick Just as fast as you can teach me, I can learn a trick Be my pal and I'll be a friend to you Doing all these tricks about to drive me crazy Listen, isn't it time we take a little break?
Captain Kangaroo will be back after these messages. Whatever you like when you play with giant lock lock. Click clack, click clack. Yeah, those lock lock really stack. Those giant lock lock. Giant lock lock's 100 piece set comes with everything you see here by Entex. Snoopy! Who's that? It's Snoopy's sister, Belle. So separately. Snoopy and Belle. She's adorable. Of course, she's my sister. The new Snoopy and Belle dress-up dolls each come with an outfit you can change. What will Belle wear next? No peeking. <laughs> Roller disco outfits all separately. Snoopy and Belle dress-up dolls that look real swell. Snoopy and Belle dress-up dolls are each sold separately. Roller disco outfits all separately. New from Knickerbocker. Today we'll have a ball at breakfast with my delicious cereal. Count Chocula. Ah, music to my ears. Mmm, delicious chocolatey flavor and tasty marshmallows. Step aside, Count Clumsy, while I cut in with my ever so scrumptious Frankenberry. My strawberry flavored cereal with tasty marshmallows. It's a real hit. Count Chocula. Frankenberry. <laughs> you can enjoy this good, nutritious breakfast with Frankenberry. Count Chocula. Let's go back to the Captain Kangaroo Show. Today, a poem about a boy who simply could not get to school on time, even though the school, as anyone can plainly see, was right next door to his house. His name? There he is. Archibald McCool. And the poem is as follows. Archibald McCool was always late for school. I think I'm going to be late for school again. The birds would sing. <whistles> Alarms would ring. His mom would call. Hey, Archibald! Up to the door, his friends would march, and they would yell, It's school time, Arch! But Archibald McCool, he'd still be late for school. Then, one foggy Halloween, the strangest sight he'd ever seen, came whooshing down the block. It was the ghost of nine o'clock. Not the minute after. The very time to be in school. A dreaded hour for Arch McCool. The ghost said, Archibald, my friend, this lateness of yours must come to an end. If you'd remain a friend of mine, you must get to school precisely at nine. Or earlier, if that's the rule. You got to be on time for school. Archibald tried everything. He set each clock so it would ring at seven in the morn. And his mom would blow a horn. And his friends would beat a drum. They'd yell, Get out of bed, you bum! And they would tickle Arch's toes and rub some ice cubes on his nose. But Archibald McCool, he'd still be late for school. Finally, he got to class, where he beheld a lovely lass. It was her first day in school. What a surprise for young McCool. Um, may I sit here with you? Yes, of course. Oh. Please do. My gosh, you're, you're cute and really smart. He <gasps> thinks you've won my heart. You're groovy, grand, the living end. I'm hoping that you'll be my friend. Oh, no. Huh? Said she. I would be a fool to like someone who's late for school. Just think of all the things you miss. For me, you'll never get a kiss until you are on time for school. Young, handsome Archibald McCool. Well, every morning after that, Arch woke up before his cat, before his friends, for goodness sake, before his mom began to bake. Archibald was out of bed. 
His teeth were brushed, he'd made his bed. And off to school, he quickly sped. Soon after that, his mother said, Hey, Archibald, you're not in bed. Here is another adventure with Undercover Elephant. What a beautiful day for listening to my new tape deck. Yeah, and it's laying out some groovy sounds on the cover. Hey, a new cassette. Something tells me that was a secret pigeon. International spies led by the infamous Dr. Sinister have stolen plans for our latest aircraft carrier. Your assignment, Undercover Elephant, stop Dr. Sinister. We have a tip he's flying to Hong Kong. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Torch it, Undercover, torch it! It's a stack! I... I... Those fools in Washington will never stop me now. We'll be rich. <laughs> <laughs> uh. the coffee, tea, or milk? Nothing. Don't bother us, stewardess. We're busy. First, we'll try to sell the plans to the Hong Kong spy, one low gal. If she won't pay our price, we'll go to... Excuse me, stewardess. How about a cheese sandwich? Quiet, loud mouse. Wow-wee! You are the most! No one would ever guess that you are Undercover Elephant. Undercover Elephant? An amazing disguise! Undercover elephant, you'll never catch us now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look! Oh, it isn't time, loudmouth. Follow those parachutes. Hey, get me off of here. Taxi, gentlemen. Take us to the airport. We're flying to Italy. Little did I know, I am taking them to the police station. Hurry it up, driver. We've got no time to waste. Faster. Yes, sir. That's no rickshaw driver. That's undercover elephant. Sinister, you are under arrest. Who's under arrest, undercover? Dr. Sinister will regret this. I will get him for Grand Theft Rickshaw. Think, undercover, Dr. Sinister and the creeps. Hang on, Lodmouth. Here we go. Contact shows up. I'll get them all. It's 
Undercover elephant. How did he find us? Uh oh, they're making their getaway in a water taxi. Faster, man. They're rapping with their contact. Now you'll get back those plans. You lose undercover. <laughs> Again, you are terrific. The government will sure be glad to get these plans back for his new aircraft carrier. Sheesh, what a day. Too bad those plans are not for a submarine. Looks like we're gonna need one. Captain Kangaroo will be back after these messages. Shortcake, and let's introduce cute cherry cuddler with gooseberry a goose. Strawberry shortcake with custard smell berry, strawberry, cherry color, and gooseberry. Berry cherry. Dolls with cup each sold separately. Sweet lime chiffon with parfait there a pair. Cute butter cookie with jelly bears. Berry, delicious. Strawberry shortcake with custard, cherry cuddler with gooseberry, lime chiffon with parfait, and butter cookie with jelly bear, each sold separately. They're from Kenner. I'm gonna tempt my tummy, the taste of nuts and honey. It's, it's the honey of an O, it's honey nut Cheerios. The honey nut Cheerios B. It's the taste of golden honey, with a crunch that's kinda nutty. It's the honey of an O, it's honey nut Cheerios. Mmm. And it's a tasty part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Oh, oh it's the honey, honey of an O. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's honey nut Cheerios. Oh. It's the Play-Doh Farm Set, with colors you can mix together. When you're playing farm, it's fun to do. With Play-Doh people and animals, too. There's a cow and pigs and chickens, of course. You can make a Play-Doh horse. The hay's in the barn, do si -do. You can drive the tractor slow. The horse and wagon are ready to go. You can make it with Play-Doh. The Play-Doh Farm Set comes with everything you see here. New from Kenner. Captain will be right back. This is CBS. Here's a nutty situation. Regular hamburger. Regular fries. Regular soft drink. You guys ought to get together. Uh-oh. Where'd they go? Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy meal. meal! There's all kinds of surprises at McDonald's. <laughs> Now, when you buy a McDonald's Happy Meal, you get a Playmobil toy. A different one each week, five toys in all. The Playmobil Happy Meal at participating McDonald's. Catch the fever, dance fever, tonight at 6.30. Let's go back to the Captain Kangaroo Show. Oh, boy. Will you take a look at this? What's that, Captain? Three empty milk cartons. Yeah, well, somebody probably drank milk. Well, I don't mind people drinking milk, but then to put the empty milk cartons back in the refrigerator? Yeah. Oh, that, that was me. Yeah. You... I was saving the milk cartons. Saving them? What for? Well, for this game called, uh, oh, I call it pitch ball. See, I need the milk cartons. Uh, I had the three shirt cardboards. You found your shirts kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I took the shirt cardboard. You didn't mind, do you? No, I didn't mind, no. And I drew three clown faces. Uh -huh. You know, three... And uh, then I cut out around the drawing, right. you know. Uh -huh. And in the milk carton, I cut with a, uh, you know, my scissor, I cut a little a hole. A slot. The, the slot. That's the word I was looking for. Now, would you put the clown... That's it. Like that. Yeah. I'll put that one in here. Oh, they're nice. <laughs> and put that in there. And what do you do with them? Okay, well, with tennis balls... Yeah, that's the tennis balls. We're going to use those tennis balls. I'm going to give these clowns a score. Uh, one point for him. Six points for him. Wow. 
Two points for him. Okay. Okay? All right. We now we stay... Three, three tennis balls. Di distance back. Okay? Uh, you go first. You want me to go first? Sure. Okay, what happens to the loser? No, never mind. Just, just yeah? go ahead. Okay. I'll think of something. Okay, okay. Six points. Six that points. makes me a loser already. <laughs> <laughs> right? I will count one point. We'll just count on one point. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's, okay. that's two points. Oh, nice going. Nice, good. I know what happens to the loser. What? <laughs> gets to go to the store and get some more milk. I'll see you later. Uh, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Right. Time again for Dear Gabby, the television show that answers your questions. And now, let's meet our answer expert. Here's Gabby. Hi, I'm Gabby Gabadale. And if you've got a question or a problem, just write us a letter and we'll try to answer it. Ralph? Uh, well, now, uh, today's letter uh, <clears throat> comes from Kathy, who lives in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Kathy asks, Dear Gabby, my mother says I have to pick up my toys after I play with them and put them away. Why should I have to when I'm only going to play with them again tomorrow? Hmm. Well, when do I left it? Well, uh, that's an interesting problem. Kathy, I hope I can give you an answer you'll like. Here goes. Your mother is right. You must pick up your toys after playing because, besides looking messy, toys left lying around can be dangerous. Someone could trip over them and break them or even get uh, hurt. Uh, Gabby, you haven't seen my other roller skate, have you? Oh, yes, I have, Ralph. Oh, yeah? It's right in the middle of the floor over there where uh, you left it. Oh, thanks, thanks. Now, you had picked it up and put it away. Ralph, Ralph, watch out. Uh. Oh! What? Uh. Oh, oh my gosh, he said the escape route. Watch out for the ball, Mike. Oh, oh, uh. I can't stop. Oh, Ralph, uh, watch out for the lights. Uh. Oh, uh, Ralph, watch out for that camera. Uh. Okay. Well, uh, Ralph, Ralph, watch out for the wall. I think from now on, I'll pick up my skates and put them away when I'm not using them. Bye. Good idea, Ralph. <clears throat> well, I hope you heard that, Kathy. And I hope your day is a better one than Ralph's. And mine. like an Annie fashion party dress, sold separately. Gorgeous! Other fashions from the World of Annie collection are also sold separately. Annie comes with red dress. Annie, new, from Knickerbocker. Donut cereal has a new flavor, chocolate! Chocolate, 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 chocolate
a flavor through and through. Chuck a chop, 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 chuck a chocolate, chop a donut. And the crisp and crunchy too. But of this breakfast is nutritious chocolate. Delicious. Donuts. Now in two flavors, powdered and new. Now, back to the Captain Kangaroo Show. Hello. Hello? Is this the gingerbread house repair shop? You're sorry you're out of business. Well, I'm sorry, too. Darn. Darn. Just look at this place. It's got to be fixed up. Disgusting. I'm ashamed to even have the other witches over here. They probably just cackle and say, <laughs> Look at Wicked's house. It's disgusting. What I really need is a gingerbread house repairman. Oh, sir, sir. Yes, ma'am. Would you happen to be a gingerbread house repairman? Well, how did you know? It just so happens that I am a gingerbread house repairman. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> and I am the Wicked Witch. And what I really need is for someone to repair this gingerbread house. It's disgusting. Look at this. Why, just the other day, Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater's wife came by and said, Oh, oh, I just hope my pumpkin shell never gets that tacky. Oh, yes. Well, I can understand why she said that. I think what you need is some whipped cream to repair these cracks. Well, get to it. Get to it. There we go. That one taken care of. Okay. And a little whipped cream right in here. There we go. Oh, and... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That will not do at all. Well, who are you? I'm Jack. I'm Jack Renee Bulls. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. When I'm retired, I haven't jumped over a candlestick for years. Is that so? That's right. Well, what do you do, Jack, to keep busy? I repair gingerbread houses. Oh. This one needs fudge. Oh, my goodness. Does it need fudge? Go. Fudge? Jesus, get my fudge. Fudge? Yes, it needs fudge. Look at that. Fudge. What, what you Look done? Fudge, fudge, you say, oh, huh? Yeah. Well, how about some applesauce? That's a good oh, idea. Yeah. Applesauce is what this one needs. Good idea. There. How do you like that? No. no. Applesauce. Oh, look, 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 look. Hey, I'll have the repairman look at this. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. I'll change your face. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. We are ruining it. What? Yes, ruining it. You see, ma'am, we are from the Hansel yes. and Gretel Protective Association. Absolutely. And we know what you are up to. You do? Yes, we know that you want your gingerbread house to look so pretty that Hansel and Gretel will go inside and you will never let them out again. How do you know that? We read. Darn it. There's one type of person who can outsmart a wicked witch. It's someone who can read. Right. That too. We read all about Ansel and Gretel, and we know all about you. So off to the forest, you wicked witch. Off to the forest and never come back. Drop. Drop. Good work, Jack. Do you realize that we kept Hansel and Gretel from going inside the Wicked Witch's house so many, many times? But we have never been inside ourselves. That's right. Let's go. Yes. Let's see what this place looks like. All right. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh look oh, at this right. place. Did you ever see anything so oh, terrible? Right. Let's get out of here. Okay. The door. It's locked. Can't get out. Oh. Help. 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 like somebody's in there and they seem to be in trouble. Help! Help! We're locked in! Let us out! This must be the wrong gingerbread house. Yeah, maybe we better get out of here. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Wait. The witch sent us a key, remember? Oh, yeah, I have it right here. It's a licorice key. You want some? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, let, no, no, don't, no. Let's see if it fits into the lock. Yeah. Maybe we can get those people out of there. Does it? it? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, thank you. Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. We have saved you. You've saved us? Yes. We of the Hansel and Gretel Protective Society have posed as gingerbread house repair people in order to prevent you from going in to the Wicked Witch's house. 
If you think the place looks terrible on the outside, you should see it on the inside. Oh, terrible. Oh, terrible. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Me too. Come on. Say, that sounds like a very good idea. Come. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to have to do this whole house over again. Send me a hammer and 200 pounds of gingerbread mix. Now, make that 400 pounds. Now, six, 600 pounds. 600 pounds of gingerbread mix, please. 800, 800 pounds. Now, 1,000, 1,000 pounds. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight, for my monster from his slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It got on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match. Out from his coffin rack's voice did ring. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. The monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It's caught on and flash. It's now the mash. It's now the Monster Mash. Now everything's cool, Jack's a part of the band. And my Monster Mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them what is said. Then you can mash. Then you can Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. And do my graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can Monster Mash. Coming up soon, the CB Bears. Captain Kangaroo will be back after these messages. It's the Play-Doh Farm Set with colors you can mix together. When you're playing farm, it's fun to do. With Play-Doh people and animals too. There's a cow and pigs and chickens, of course. You can make a Play-Doh horse. The hay's in the barn, do si -do. You can drive the tractor slow. The horse and wagon are ready to go. You can make it with Play-Doh. The Play-Doh Farm Set comes with everything you see here. New from Kenner. Slinky Towerifics, a building toy made large for younger children to make towers, bridges, a horse, almost whatever you imagine. Also from the Slinky building toy line are Formations, Gigantics, and Ringamajigs, each sold separately. Interlocking holes and pegs make it easy, and they're a good size for small hands, a Slinky brand toy. Slinky Towerifics and other building toys are each sold separately. Whatever you like when you play with giant lock lock. Click clack, click clack. Yeah, those lock lock really stack. Those giant lock blocks. Giant lock blocks 100 piece set comes with everything you see here by Entex. Now back to the Captain Kangaroo Show. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time once again for the world's greatest acrobat, the Incredible Fred. And now, the Incredible Fred will perform one of his most spectacular feats. He will attempt to hold his assistant above his head with one hand while holding up a gorilla with the other hand. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, go on. 
what incredible Fred, the, the audience, you, 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 your fans, you've got to do it. Oh, go on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You can do it, Fred. <laughs> do it. If anybody in the whole world can do this trick, the incredible Fred can. But nobody in the whole world can do that trick. Nobody. But I'll try. <sighs> Are you ready, Incredible Fred? Incredible Fred is ready. Along the curtain to part. You, you did it. You did it, Incredible Fred. Fantastic. Take a bow. <laughs> Be sure to be with us uh, ne next time for the uh, uh, incredible Fred. You'll re you'll really like it. Really, be with us next time for incredible Fred. Get ready for the CB Bears. Breaker one nine, breaker one nine, Charlie the perfume wagon. Come on, breaker. Breaker, <laughs> is something broken? Uh, no, I don't. She wants you to answer the CB. Of course. I'm just testing to, uh, to keep you on your toes, Bob. <laughs> What's up, Charlie? Strange things are happening in Drakenstein. Drakenstein? Ah, you mean that place where the, uh, the creepy vampires and the howling werewolves and... Those are all just superstitions, Hustle. <laughs> oh, I love to listen to Charlie. Everyone in Drakenstein is mysteriously asleep, and it's up to you to find the cause. The whole town's asleep? <laughs> well, uh, we'll handle it, Charlie. Nothing can stop the CB bears. The hot dog? <laughs> well, almost nothing. We gotta get to Drakenstein before dark, Bob. Can't you go any faster? Yeah, I could go twice as fast as we were heading home. Stop with that sign ahead, Bum. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Hustle? Well, as I to say, Boogie. You see, the sign is blank. <laughs> blank? Perhaps I can help. No! No! All roads lead to Drakenstein. Which one takes the longest? I am Maria Obligaya. And I know all things. If you go to Drakenstein, you will never come back. Never? I can say no more. I think you said enough. Beware. 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 Yeah, let me out of here. Well, here it is. Drakenstein at last. Never was asleep, just like Charlie said. Well, somebody sure forgot to wind that big clock in the squire. It ran down at noon or midnight. Now look, there's got to be an answer here, so let's find it. Yeah, before it finds us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out this old inn. <laughs> Everybody inside, let's go. Move it, move it. Now, how come we always have to go first? Because Boogie is shorter and you're taller. That's why. Oh. Uh, Oh, 
Come on, you guys. He's just asleep like everybody else in Dragonstein. I know that, Boogie. I was just, uh, I was just checking the chandelier for clues. Yeah, sure, I some valuable-looking things here. You like those paintings? <laughs> and that statue. And that vase. And this rock. <laughs> I think that's a clue. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, they're all gone. The paintings, the statue. Yeah, that creepy guy. Yeah, after him. <laughs> oh, he got away. Hmm. Now, why would a little place like this get valuable art like that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the kind of stuff you'd find in a castle. Something tells me that's where we're going to find the answer. Uh-oh. Let's go, Bump. But I don't want to go. The castle belonged to Count Drakenstein, Hustle. But the family went broke centuries ago. Nobody lives there now. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll, we'll check it out. Maybe there's nobody alive here. What about vampires and werewolves and ghosts? And... Will you cut it out, Bump? You're just going to scare yourself. If nobody's here, then why are you knocking, Hustle? Because it's polite. <laughs> well, how do you get in this place? <laughs> Maybe this does something. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's having a good time. <laughs> Come on! Uh, I don't think I'm gonna like it. Boogie, 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 boogie. Darling! Who shut the door? Ah! Don't hurt me, Mr. Vampire. I'm a real <laughs> Hi, guys. Isn't this terrific hiding place? You're gonna need a good hiding place when I... <laughs> Wait, Hustle. Look what I found in here. What's that? It's a delivery receipt for that big clock in the town square. <laughs> it was given to the town last week by Count Frankenstein. The seven. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> you are going to get it. Count Frankenstein. <laughs> Going down! You cannot get away from me! <laughs> Where you gonna try? We're gonna quit! <laughs> Look at what we found. I the missing stuff and more. The, the cop is a thief. Look at this tapestry he stole. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it. Oh, I found you. <laughs> we know what you're up to. Stealing from the poor peasant. Stealing? These things belong to my ancestors, who used them to pay debts centuries ago. The villagers don't appreciate them. I know, but you can't just steal them back. Uh, yeah, how'd you put everybody to sleep? You will never know. <laughs> I bet I can guess. No! You put them under a spell like this. With the big clock you gave to Drakenstein. You are right. I was a bad cow. Good work, Boogie. We're really proud of. <laughs> uh oh.
So we return the stolen things and the counts in the Drakenstein jail. <laughs> Good work, Boogie. And uh, hustle and bump her out of their trance? Sure. Otherwise, I could probably tell them to be chickens or something. <laughs> and... What's that noise, Boogie? <laughs> I'll get back to you, Charlie. <laughs> hey, found my earth. Wait a minute. <laughs> Kangaroo will be back after these messages. This is the world of Annie. Dolls want to see the mansion sold separately. And here's Annie in a limousine you put together. And inside the Annie mansion, assembly required, there's room for Molly, Punjab, Miss Hannigan, and Daddy Warbucks. Your Annie mansion's so much fun. It's got so much to play with. This house is so big and beautiful. It's not a house. It's a mansion. The Annie Mansion comes with everything you see here. Dolls and cars sold separately. New from Knickerbocker. A fun factory. Let's have a Play-Doh party. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> a shooting star. <laughs> you can have a Play-Doh party anytime with the Play-Doh Fun Factory. I made spaghetti. Fire. Make a hose. No, it's a snake. I want your spaghetti. He got the spaghetti. By yourself or with the gang, you can have a Play-Doh party. It's fun. The Play-Doh Fun Factory toy comes with everything you see here. From Kenner. Here's the real thing in racing thrills. Here are Tonka's Power Punchers. Pocket-sized cars. You can rev them up and hit that button. Power Punchers. You can race them and run them. Jump them and bump them. The Tonka toy will come for fun, fun, fun. A pocket full of fun. Power Punchers, each sold separately from Tonka. Let's go back to the captain. Hey, today is a good day for... Jumping, jogging, rocking, rolling, rowing. Racing, riding, tumbling, and throwing. Skiing, dancing, batting, biking, eating, reading, hitting, hiking, walking, talking, chugging, rapping, flying, laughing, laughing. Sliding, whizzing, zooming, skidding, kicking, catching, acting, cooking, surfing, swinging, learning, looking, there's so much to do, these things are just a few. So whatever you do, have a great day. I love the crunchy wheat taste of Kellogg's Mini Wheats, but the frosting side agrees with the little kid in me. The whole grain shredded wheat side to me is quite superior. The light frosting pleases my girlish interior. Kellogg's regular and apple frosted Mini Wheat cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. For me, the manly side of Mini Wheats is fitting, but the frosting's good too, and I'm not kidding. Skeletor created you to destroy He-Man. You did? You're a faker. You look like He-Man only you're evil. Evil. He-Man, He-Man! Action figures sold separately. He-Man, He-Man! You're not He-Man, you're faker! Faker has all the power! Oh yeah? Watch this power! Uh, only He-Man has all the power in the universe! Faker, He-Man, and Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe collection, each sold separately from Mattel. How do you like my kingdom of half? It's fun. No, it'll be like this. A ride in my half balloon? Nope. Has to be the half day school. This is even better. 
Then it's Havsies, my crunchy sweet new corn and rice cereal. It's crunchy sweet, but half the sugar of most sugar-coated cereals. How does it taste so sweet? That's my secret. It's Legree. No, sweet Havsies are mine. <laughs> no, what? Half a car. I don't care. I'm halfway there. Half a bridge. Whoa! Nice work, kids. Anytime, King. For new Havsies. <laughs> New Hamsies are a crunchy sweet part of this balanced breakfast. Three New Hamsies books of fun and games have half pictures, tongue twisters, pick a pickly, mazes, You're stuck. hidden pictures, <laughs> and more. There's one book of fun and games in each specially marked box of Hamsie cereal. Wrench, wrench, socket, socket, plugs, motor, tires, chassis, speed buggy. <laughs> That's me. They raced. They raced today. Who put the antifreeze in my carburetor? Yeah. Yeah. your goat. Kellogg's sugar corn pops are just popping with lots of great taste. Sugar corn pops? Do the kids like them? They've got a big, sweet, crunchy corn taste. They're a popping good part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm. Kids love Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Point is, they're so good, kids really go for them. Oh. I can't forget the night we met. I knew I found the one. We met right here at the candy store. Now every night I'm back to pick up my one and only. Hello, Luscious. Kit Kat. There's a crispy crunch inside every creamy chocolate bite for a taste you can fall in love with. Kit Kat, I love you. Chocolatey crispy Kit Kat, the taste you can fall in love with. get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, mm, peanut butter. Hey! Oh! Hey, you put your chocolate in my peanut butter! You got butter. peanut butter on my chocolate. What? what? Oh. Delicious. Delicious. Two great tastes that taste great together. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Real milk chocolate, delicious peanut butter. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And Reese's Crunchy Peanut Butter Cups, topped with chopped peanuts. Speedy Show with Yosemite Sam. Whoa, Millie. 
Oh, come on! Whoa! Tweety and Sylvester. Ooh, I thought I thought a putty cat. With Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the port, the port. With Foghorn Leghorn and Peppy Le Pew. And starring, of course, America's Sweetheart. You get it, the Daddy Duck in the Daffy Show. Speedy Daffy! Call it, guys. It's the Daffy Speedy Show. Daffy and Speedy will return after these messages. Hot Wheels Inside Track Race Set. Wow. With seven feet of pull-out track, a play tune-up garage, and two hot ones you can race outside or inside. Hot Wheels Inside Track. I'm going to win. No way. Pick the flag. And race stop. The track inside the case. You can take most every place. Hot Wheels Inside Track Race Set comes with seven feet of track and two hot ones cars. Not for use with some Hot Wheels vehicles. New from Mattel. Two girls ready? No, come in, Dad. Barbie's taking her bubble bath. <laughs> this is the Barbie bubble bath. You have to put it together. Magic Curl Barbie doll sold separately. Ooh, some mini bubbles. Time to rinse off now, Barbie. Wow, the shower really works. Doesn't Barbie look pretty, Dad? Maybe I should try a Barbie bubble bath. <laughs> Barbie bubble bath comes with everything shown. Magic Curl Barbie doll sold separately. From Mattel. Tonight, Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters welcome Conway Twitty, Patrick Duffy, and the Croft Puppets. Tomorrow night, Boomer takes the rap for another dog's bite and ends up in the palm. Monday night on Little House, a master escape artist astounds the town. Then Albert tries to perform one of the escapes. Now stay tuned for Bullwinkle next. Here's pink and pretty Barbie. Barbie's got big plans for this weekend. Has she got the clothes? Sure, this whole pink wardrobe. Pink and Pretty Barbie doll comes with everything you need to change around and create more than 20 different glamorous looks. This little cape can be a hat, too. Ooh, feel furry. Sparkly jewelry. Barbie, you've got enough clothes for a whole week. Pink and Pretty Barbie doll comes with fashion accessories and a change around wardrobe from Mattel. Over. Oh, your toucan, Sam. Yes? Got a racket for finding fruit flavors, eh? It's no racket, it's my nose. Sure, and I'm a French poodle. Prove it. Follow my nose. It always knows. Stop! It's Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Those natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Like them, officer? Sure, and wouldn't it be a crime not to? Bunny Roadrunner Show. Bugs Bunny and the Road Runner. Road Runner, me me. If he catches you, you're through. The coyote is me a crazy clown. Me me. When will he learn that he never can follow him down? Me me. Poor little Road Runner never bothers anyone. Me me. Running down the road, his ideas having fun. The Bugs Bunny Roadrunner Show. Bugs Bunny and a Roadrunner will return after these messages. Now, when you drink your Nessie's Quick Chocolate Flavor Bunny, you have to be cool. Oh, I can be real cool. That means you can drink your Quick real slow. I can dig that. Even though it's rich. Uh, I catch your drift. And thick. Uh, I can see where you're coming from. And chocolatey. Right on! <laughs> Don't worry, Bunny. When it comes to drinking quick slow, we all lose our cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Look out. Your little buddy, Gilligan, is at it again, out in outer space, right after In the News. <laughs> Are you ready for space age fun and cosmic comedy? Then suit up with a smile, sit tight, and get ready to launch the laughter with Gilligan, the professor, and the whole crew on Gilligan's Planet, next. At last, what you've never seen, never heard, never felt in a video game. Star Master for the Atari Video Computer System. Chart and challenge. Warp, but wait. Fight and fight again. Retreat to refuel. Battle and be blasted right out of your senses. Star Master by Activision. Introducing the new talking cereal. Uh, how's this? No, 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 no. What are you guys talking about? The sound marshmallows make in our new marshmallow crispy cereal. You can't go snap, crackle, pop. Marshmallow. Kellogg's Marshmallow Krispies is part of this complete breakfast. Do you like them? Mm. That's the sound. Mm. It's time to put snap, crackle, pop. Reporter here to ask, did Kellogg's just put more raisins in their raisin bran? What's the scoop, son? Two bigger scoops. Two bigger scoops of raisins are the reason Kellogg's raisin bran so pleasing. Now I ripen two bigger scoops for every box as part of this nutritious breakfast. Two bigger scoops of raisins. Two scoops. In Kellogg's raisin bran. What's more raisins? That's one big scoop. Nope. <laughs> it's two bigger scoops. <laughs> Having a famous father isn't all that great. He's always recognized, gets tons of letters, and people think I get everything I want. Wrong. Last Christmas, I wanted Kaboom, Laser Blast, and Freeway, three knockout video games from Activision. Well, I got two, so I don't get everything I want. This year, I want Mega Mania and Grand Prix and... Son? Yeah, Mom? Uh, your father wants to know if you fed the reindeer. Gotta go.
This is CBS. Arcade players, get ready. The new Atari 5200 Super System is here. With a controller so advanced, it plays arcade. Graphics so real, it looks arcade. With arcade hits, you can't play on any other system. No other home video system can touch it. The new Atari 5200 Super System. It's as good as you are. Maybe even better. Next time. Pull over. Oh? Your toucan, Sam? Yes? Got a racket for finding fruit flavors, eh? It's no racket, it's my nose. Sure, and I'm a French poodle. Prove it. Follow my nose. It always knows. Stop! It's Kellogg's Fruit Lob cereal. Those natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Like them, officer? Sure, and wouldn't it be a crime not to? In a mystical world of good and evil. In a wondrous realm of fantasy and adventure. Journey to another time. Another place. Join in the struggle to possess the Dark Crystal. Rated PG. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Check newspapers for local details. Saturday morning, get ready for Bugs Bunny and his friends. <laughs> Lip-smacking comedy, followed by meatballs and spaghetti. It all starts at 9.30, 10.30 Eastern. Tibet is pieces scattering all over the earth. Only an American boy sees the explosion. He and his sister fly there and meet three panda bears who help them fight Mondragore. From the skies, Mondragore controls wind, fire, thunder, and lightning. On Earth, his powers disappear, and he can only control the minds of others, and they carry out his evil plans. The race to recover the pieces of the pyramid is on. It's pandemonium! These messages. Hey, Keebler, how's the old elf and magic? Ooh, pretty good. Ah, the old fudge and one side trick, huh? Wow, stripes! Yes, sir. We're making our fudge stripe cookies. We take crisp shortbread cookies, cover them with rich fudge on one side, and fudge stripes on the other side. Unbelievable! I always wanted to know how you elves got the stripes on your fudge stripe cookies. And I still don't know. Keebler Fudge Stripes, Fudge Sticks, and Deluxe Grahams. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang, Nerf Boomerang. Easy throw in high or low. It comes back with each good throw. Boomerang. You can throw it by yourself. Or throw it with some friends. Nerf Boomerang is safe, soft fun that never, never ends. Nerf Boomerang from Parker Brothers. The Enchanted Pyramid of Power. Mystical source of all energy. Who possesses it can rule all worlds everywhere. the most evil being in all worlds anywhere, attempts to steal it. Mandragore will be master of all 
Pyramid of Power tumbles towards the tiny planet Earth and its unsuspecting peaceful inhabitants, where it suddenly shatters in a dazzling explosion. What was that? It's the end of the world, Daryl. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank. I needed that. It woke me up. The explosion is seen by only one other person. Holy golden nebula! 18-year-old Peter Darrow, working overtime during summer vacation. Tibet. The Himalayan mountains in Tibet. Hey, what's that you got there? Oh, how many guesses do I get, Chesty? Hey, let me see that thing. <laughs> okay, guys, get that thing back. I'll tell you what to do from here. Okay, the next time he opens his mouth, grab it. Here, tickle him. When he starts laughing, reach in and grab the thing. You sure he's got a sense of humor? Pickle, pickle. Oh, I'm hungry too. Who's got the pepper? Pepper. That's it. We'll make him sneeze it out. <laughs> Would you stop that? Shoot! <laughs> This is important. Look, it's pointing off that way. Come on, guys. Let's see where it leads. Using a credit card left by their vacationing parents, Peter Darrow flies to Tibet, accompanied by his younger sister, Peggy. I checked with every observatory, Peggy, even NASA. Nobody saw the explosion but me. This is my chance to make a major scientific discovery. You mean our? chance. I'm here, too. Of course. You have the credit card. Go right over the spot you marked on the map, Peter, and look. All the instruments are going crazy. Brace yourself, Peg. I'm going to put us down in the jungle clearing. It's an airplane. That was my next guess. Are you all right? I think so. Nothing's broken. I... No bears. You ninnies. We're the bears. The bears are us. We are? I thought we were pandas. We are. Pandas are bears. I'm a bear. Hey, a bear! This here is Timothy, the brave. He's Algernon, the bright. <laughs> and I'm Chesty. The bully. What do you mean, bully? <laughs> Glad to see you. How are you? Welcome to Tibet. You, you talk? I uh, not only talk, 
but I'm fluent in six extinct languages. It's a miracle. No, it's not a miracle. It's the pyramid of power. Who said that? One of you must have found a piece of the enchanted pyramid. Oh, what the pyramid looked like. That's it. This is the Arcade Experience. We're ColecoVision, and we bring the Arcade Experience home. With arcade graphics, like Donkey Kong with multiple screens, just like the arcade game. Arcade controls, joystick, fire, and jump buttons. Arcade games, like Turbo, Cosmic Avenger, Venture, with 15 screens. And Zaxxon, games that let you have the arcade experience. Now you can bring the arcade experience home, because your vision is our vision. ColecoVision. Flash truck sold separately. All right. When you buy these detailed Hot Wheels vehicles in specially marked packages, you can get this new Hot Wheels belt buckle free. Look what I got free with my new Hot Wheels. Check it out. The new Hot Wheels rig wrecker. Some cars not for use with some sets. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel. <laughs> On. Is this what you're after? Yes. Tell us why, and maybe we'll give it to you. I don't think we should, Peter. Neither do I, but I want to know why he wants it so badly. Come on, tell us what this is all about. Since before time, the most valuable object in all existence has been the Pyramid of Power. When it exploded on your foolish planet, the pieces scattered everywhere. That is the first piece to be found. But that piece will lead me to the next piece. And the next will show the way to another. Until I reassemble the entire pyramid. And then, with its power, I will become master of all universes. All beings everywhere will bow down to Mandrakar. Peter Darrow doesn't bow to anybody. Especially when I'm around. Yay! Yay! What are we cheering for? We're going to make him mad. See what I mean? <laughs> I will. Breaking my back! 
do that, uh, whatchamacallit? Papa Panda. I don't know. When things get bad, that's what we always do. And everything gets nice again. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, here's your piece of pyramid, Algernon. You, you want me to have it? <laughs> why? Well, because he's not as dumb as he looks, that's why. You keep it and you get to deal with it. Walking out on us? No, we're running out on you, right? No. Huh? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 no, I mean, yes, no, I don't know. You mean you're leaving us alone to stop that awful, horrible thing from taking over the world? I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> It turns out I was only thinking of them, but since they want to stay, okay. Personally, I'm not afraid of big creeps like that Mondragor. I can handle him. Pow, pow, pow. Take that. The right cross, the left cross, a call in the red cross. Hey, where are you guys going? We're in a race against Mondragor. We've got to find the next piece of the Pyramid of Power before he does. And this piece is showing us the way. A red point indicates where to go. See? Gang, we're off on the greatest adventure of our lives. And doomed to fail. 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 You know, Peter, I have this strange feeling we're being watched. Relax, Peg. It's only your imagination. Here's our inflatable mattress. We'll blow it up for you, Peggy. Here, blow it up for you. Now you really are an airhead. Here, I'll help you. Oh, did you want this over here? Or over there? Holy Algernon, put the orange back, will you? There's somebody else out there. Well, be careful, guys. It could be the abominable snowman. Oh, what does an abominable snowman look like? Well, he's about eight feet tall, hair all over, and he, he. Wait a minute. How would you know? Because he's standing behind you. <laughs> Okay, it's decided. So we'll dig a pit and trap him ourselves. Oh, all that, Justine? Now, if the snowman heads for our camp, well, he simply steps into this loop. That looks like fun. Can I try it? The pyramid keeps pointing to that cliff. I wonder if there's a secret tunnel leading to something on the other side.
him. Cut us loose. I just hope we can really trust that abominable snowman. He brought me here. He's my friend. I want to see him again so I can thank him. Creature snowman nevermore. Now you belong to Mandragore. Careful, guys. The next piece of the pyramid could be anywhere. Uh, check out the fountain, Algernon. Okay, just eat. I'm thirsty. What if the water is contaminated? That's why I had him do it. Einstein's theory of relativity can be construed with the space-time continuum. Quick, get me some of that water. Look, 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 look. Oh. Uh-oh. I gave him the water from the fountain of youth by mistake. Would you go? Coochie-coochie. I'll give you a coochie-coochie-coo, you... Hold it, guys. The pyramid piece is here. It's in the Temple of Terror. It sounds like fun. It's locked. Let's go. There it is. The walls are moving. We'll be crushed. Oh, indubitably. Unless, of course, we left through that window. That window's too small, dum-dum. Now that we become infants... What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Well, I do. Quick, drink this. No, 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 no. Let's go! of the pyramid leaves.
the curse of magic. Our paths will cross again. And now, these messages. Why, it's apricot and hops a lot. Oh, oh my! Have you come to share my new strawberry shortcake cereal? Indubitably! <laughs> That's very nice! It's such a pretty strawberry pink, and its crispy strawberry taste is a very good part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Right! It even smells like strawberries. Outstanding! Oops! <laughs> New strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very delicious. This boy is losing his bounce. Why can't he bounce back? He didn't fuel up huh? with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you bouncing. Wow! Cheerios! Shh! Don't wake him! Bluebeard's the grumpiest pirate afloat. But we're supposed to cheer him up. Ah, who goes there? Snap, crackle, pop. Sir? State your business, mates. To put fun into your morning. What be fun? Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal. It's fun to put snap, crackle, pop into your morning. Part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> A talking treasure. Sir, where do pirates come from? Pittsburgh. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> Get him win, I'll hide his paddle. Buddy, let's play catch. Nope. Checkers? No thanks. No one can say no to quick. Yeah. Want some quick? Quick. Mmm, quick is rich. And thick. And milk chocolatey. That was good. Guess I'll go practice. Ready to play. Nestle quick chocolate flavor. No one can say no to quick. My son, to follow in my footsteps, you must always remember four things. Four things, Papa? Everybody needs a balanced breakfast every morning. That's number one, Papa? That's number one. Next, Captain Crunch cereal can be part of it. That's number two, Papa? That's number two. And number three is, you can't get away with a crunch, because the crunch always gives you away. Number four is... Always remember number three. Right. A giant crab stealing our golden crispy super sugar crisp. Stealing against the law, crab claw. <laughs> this time the pinch is on you. Yay, Super Bear! Host Super Sugar Crisp cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Now with Super Sugar Crisp cereal stickers, you can find your bike quicker. Customize your wheels. Or even labeled Mabel. Three different sticker strips. One in each specially marked bright new box of Post Super Sugar Crisp. E.T. shoes from Buster Brown. E.T. shoes from Buster Brown. E.T. shoes from Buster Brown. Shoes from Buster Brown are here, and they're extra terrific. Plus, you get 10 ET trading cards, an ET sticker, and bubble gum free with purchase. ET shoes from Buster Brown. A 
available at Bloomingdale's. Pizza joint? There's nothing to it. Right. Before you know it, you'll be rolling in dough. Oops. <laughs> like totally. <laughs> See, making pizza is easy when you have a system. Whooper rolls the dough. I twirl it. Clyde adds the goodies. Meatball puts it in the oven. And Tweeter eats it. And Tweeter. From now on, you're the official pizza watchdog. Do your duty. Wolfer, <laughs> <laughs> are you all right? He's tubular. Features those rock concert tickets was a slimy, deceitful idea. And I'm glad I thought of it. Now it's time for Operation Xena. Hey, Xena! What's up? Cosmo, I need you. Climb in the back. So, what's the caper, Xena? We're going to get rid of the beach peaches. That tiki hut of theirs ruins my view of the ocean. Uh, don't you mean your view of the lifeguard tower? Yes, that too, Cosmo. Together we can do it. We're the perfect combination of beauty and the beast. Yeah. Hey, which one am I? Oh, brother. How's it coming, Clyde? I can't seem to get the hang of twirling you things. It's simple. All you gotta do is spin it in the air like this. It's like playing a helicopter. I gotta work on my landings. Meatball, have you seen Wolfer lately? I haven't seen anything lately. Thanks. I'm worried about Wolfer and Tweeter. Hey, don't sweat it. They make a perfect match. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Meatballs and spaghetti will return after these messages. This boy is losing his bounce. Why can't he bounce back? He didn't fuel up huh? with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Yeah. Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you bouncing. Wow! Cheerio! Oh, oh, the kids are after me lucky charms. Whoops! I make up a balloon and take off with the crunchy oat cereal with marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Sounds perfectly delicious. Likes, where are your lucky charms? Right here, my friends. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Frosted lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Mm, they're magically delicious. And now, back to meatballs and spaghetti. Okay, Cosmo. Right there. How do you figure you're going to ruin their business with this wind machine, Zena? Simple. What's the worst thing you can find in your pizza? Anchovies? No, Cosmo. Sand. And we'll blow enough of it on their place to bury them. Turn on Hurricane Zena. Anything with a chick's name, I can turn on. Oh, wow, that gentle breeze sure feels good. Gentle breeze? It's a sandstorm. Quick, plug up all the holes. It's working, Cosmo. Those pizzas will taste like the Sahara Desert. I still think we should have blown anchovies. Sandstorm stopped. Yeah, this must be our lucky day. Uh, maybe not. Oh, no. Now we're trapped together. Hey, I don't mind. You know, Zena, I could really dig you. Here, start digging. Oh, so long, me, oh. We're such a trio. We work for free, oh. Down, Down by, by the sea, sea oh. oh, oh no. Get rid of that tacky tiki hut. Watch what happens to this pencil. Hey, what a great pencil sharpener. Don't use yet. These are rare termites. They'll eat absolutely anything, especially tiki huts. Now this time, don't foul up. Now don't move. Sprinkling on the pepper is delicate work. Right. Oh, what's that noise? <laughs> Somebody is walking on the roof. Clyde's right. Someone is up there. Come on out, little guys. Chow time. Hey, Stella, get down from there. Yeah, bug off. No, Cosmo, not in the chimney. Come on, get in there. Why do I use you? Those two were trying to frighten us off! Yeah, it's illegal. It's unconstitutional. It's working. Did you see the muscles on it again? Folks, we've just quit the pizza business. But what will we say to Cousin Debbie? Who cares? She doesn't speak English anyway. What's that? Hey, it must be that special batch of pizzas I'm making. Special? What did you put in them? It's my own formula. Bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate? Yeah, it's a pizza that, like, gives you heartburn and cures it at the same time. Look, what's that? I don't know. Frying saucers? Close. It's frying sausages. I guess we showed them a thing or two. I don't think they'll be bothering us again. They haven't seen the last of Xena. Hi, guys. We're back. Ooh, really for sure. Oh, hi. How was the concert? Oh, it was like awesome, Marvie, awesome. Like totally awesome. Tubular to the max. I mean, like I'm still freaking out, you know. How did you like it, Agnes? Ooh, it was like super, super gnarly. I mean, like primo to the extremo, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I think she's got it. Did you like taking 
taking care of the pizza, Tiki? Oh, for sure. It was like so awesome. It was Marty to the max. I mean, like totally. Family also to the ultimate, you know? My meatballs, that was terrific. Terrific? I don't even know what I said. Bye, 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 a gentleman always says goodbye first. And a lady always has the last word. Meatballs and spaghetti will return after these messages. Riding along on a sunny day, you can pretend you're crossing town, but there's a roadblock in your way. Can you make it, Bobby Joe? The Dukes of Hazard Power Cycle will get me through. It's got mag type wheels with knobby tires, and you can make it spin out. I'll get you! You got sure grip handlebars, and you can make it spin out. Not again! Oh, that Dukes of Hazard Power Cycle. The Dukes of Hazard Power Cycle with spin out lever. Mm. Assembly required from Coleco. Well, how do you like my kingdom of half? It's fun. You know what we like best? A ride in my half balloon? No. Nope. Has to be the half day school. This is even better. Then it's halfsies, my crunchy sweet new corn and rice cereal. It's crunchy sweet, but half the sugar of most sugar coated cereals. How does it taste so sweet? That's my secret. It's Legree. No, sweet halfsies are mine. <laughs> no. What? Half a car. I don't care. I'm halfway there. Half a bridge. Whoa! Nice work, kid. Anytime, King. For new halfsies. New halfsies are a crunchy sweet part of this balanced breakfast. Three new halfsies books of fun and games have half pictures, tongue twisters, pack of pickly mazes, hidden pictures, <laughs> and more. There's one book of fun and games in each specially marked box of halfsies cereal. And now, back to Meatballs and Spaghetti. Hey, wow! Look at this! Yeah! Flying around, around, on a flying carpet! It's my own idea. Gets the people in the mood to spend money. Uh, speaking of money... Oh, right. Here's your $50. I'll take that. Uh, what for? For the auction. What else? <laughs> the bidding is about to begin. Bring out the first item. Hey, this ought to be fun. I wonder how it works. Uh, don't scratch. Why not? At an auction, scratching could be mistaken for a bid. That goes for you, too. <laughs> now, don't even move, or you're stuck with something you don't want. All right, what am I bid for this lovely carved chest? 
Do I hear a hundred dollars? Seventy-five dollars? Fifty? Ah, <laughs> you! Sold to the man in the iron mask. You and your big mouth. No. Nope. That will be fifty dollars. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. How can you say that? Fifty bucks is nothing to be sneezed at. <laughs> and another thing. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Clyde. <laughs> How come I've got to carry this thing? Because you were the dingle brain who bought it. I wonder what's inside Clyde's chest. Probably the same thing that's inside Clyde's head. Nothing. <laughs> Clyde, what happened? I've got my chest on my back. There's something inside. It's a flute. And a crummy carpet. Oh, oh what a ripoff. Fifty bucks for this worthless junk. You ought to have your head examined. Along with my back. What have you done with the chest? You mean that weird-looking carved thing? It contained the sacred rug of Ranjipur. We must know who purchased it. Hmm. A rock group by the name of Meatballs and Spaghetti. That should be easy to remember. Yes. Hurry! We must find them! Before they discover the secret of the rug. This rug is so dusty. Would you take it out and beat it? Oh, you ought to make Clyde do it. He bought the dumb thing. And speaking of dumb things... Uh, did I hear my name mentioned? You sure did, Pally Welly. Here, take this rug and beat it. Okay. <laughs> Where should I beat it to? I meant beat the rug. Oh, never mind. I'll do it. If you want something done around here, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> Is that your idea of a joke? What? You know darn well what. Now don't try that again. <laughs> This time you're gonna get it! I don't want it! Come back and take your punishment! What? What's going on? It's a genuine flying carpet! A thing like this is worth millions! Really, Meatball? A flying carpet? Honest, honey, I was actually zooming around on it. I'll show you. Okay, let's go for a spin. Come on, quit stalling. Up, up, and away. Meatball, calm down. Fly, I said, fly, fly, fly. <laughs> Why did you do that? You were getting hysterical. I, I was? I think you've been working too hard. You'd better lie down for a while. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess it's safe to come out now. Ow! Something's poking me. Hey, it's that weird-looking flute. I always wanted to play one of these. Wow, that's really wild. I blow in it American and like it comes out East Indian. I fixed your favorite food, spaghetti. I don't know if I have the strength. I'll, uh, I'll force myself. find those youngsters. I know. We cannot return without the sacred rug of Ranjipur. Uh, at last we have found it. The sacred rug? No. The drum playing dog. That means the rug cannot be far. Behold, there it is. Our mission is completed. 
At last, the rug shall be ours. Round <laughs> And now the precious rug is ours. Quick, get big dances. This might not be as simple as we thought. Wow, this is actually flying. It really is? Then I'm not wacko? Hey, I didn't say that. You go! Stop! I command you to come back! We're gonna hit the bus! Pull up! Pull up! There's nothing to pull. Not you! I was talking to the rug! Hmm. Maybe you are wacko. Walker, tell me if this needs more salt. Useless to struggle. Hey, let go, you rug nappers. <laughs> Way to go, Booker! One down and one to go. <laughs> Hey, Woofer, that was really neat. Yeah, Pally Wally. And as a special reward tonight, I'll let you eat off my plate. Blech. Well, well. A couple of gift wrapped rock thieves. I demand that you untie us. Not until the police get here. We are the police. Pakistani Police Department? Our assignment is to return the sacred rug of Ranjipur to its proper place. The Pakistani Museum. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. Mistakes will happen. Sure. Look at us. <laughs> well, it looks like you got to go back home with these guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to miss you, too. How about that? A rug hug. The people of Pakistan will forever praise your generosity. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? It was 50 whole bucks. Here, with gratitude, is your money back. Oh. I can promise you this won't fly away. That's what you think. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> it was sure sweet of those men to let us keep this carved chest. Yeah, and the flute, too. Yeah, but the sweetest thing they did was to take that rug back with them. I never want to see another flying carpet again. <laughs> Was it something I played? <laughs> and now, these messages. Do you know what Kit Kat has in store for you? <laughs> Those light, crispy wafers smothered in rich, creamy chocolate. Kit Kat, the chocolate bar so good. You roar. Kit Kat, the crispy chocolate bar so good you roar. Slam shifters, tough, hot, die-cast collectible cars you don't push around. Slam shifters, each sold separately. You don't push them, you slam them. Slam shifters, you can pretend you're on the open road, slam shifting into action. Slam shifters, you don't push them, you slam them. And you can collect lots of different slam shifters. Slam shifters and slam shifters with launchers, each sold separately. From Ideal. 
Join us for the CBS Early Morning News at 6. Followed by local news on Eyewitness News at 6.30. And more national news on the CBS Morning News at 7. Don't miss the zany antics of that crazy rabbit on the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner Show, Saturday mornings at 9.30 here on Channel 9. Quick chocolate flavor. No one can say no to quick. My son, to follow in my footsteps, you must always remember four things. Four things, Papa? Everybody needs a balanced breakfast every morning. That's number one, Papa? That's number one. Next, Captain Crunch cereal can be part of it. That's number two, Papa? That's number two. And number three is, you can't get away with a crunch because the crunch always gives you away. Number four is... Always remember number three. Right. New Jello Pudding Pops! New Jello Pudding Pops! Hey, Bill Cosby, what's that? New Jello Pudding Pops! Frozen pudding on a stick! Ooh, tastes good! Yep, it's a home run with your taste buds and won't strike out with your mom like some snacks do, because it's made with real pudding. New, rich, creamy tasting Jello brand pudding pops. All the goodness of real Jello pudding frozen on a stick. Delicious! And won't strike out with mom. <laughs> The trouble with having fruit and cereal is you run out of fruit and are left with just cereal. But that won't happen with Post Raisin Bran, the fruit and cereal lover cereal. Because Post packs three packs of plump, sweet raisins into every box and combines them with the crispiest bran flakes so you can get raisins in every spoonful. With Post, you won't run out of fruit. And that's very special. Post Raisin Bran, the fruit and cereal lover cereal. There's nothing else like Yars Revenge, the way out space game that's new from Atari. Who else? 
Have you played Atari today? America, demand your MTV. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. MTV music, television, video music, 24 hours a day, and it's stereo. Call your cable company and say, I want my MTV. Easter special. So let's get with it. And now, these messages. Trash trucks and trouble. Here comes hell. Checking out the news about Hot Wheels. The new Hot Wheels rig record. Hook her up. Trash trucks sold separately. When you buy these detailed Hot Wheels vehicles in specially marked packages, you can get this new Hot Wheels belt buckle free. Look what I got free with my new Hot Wheels. Check it out. The new Hot Wheels rig wrecker. Some cars not for use with some sets. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel. bunnies lay little chocolate bunnies. That's how come they're in a supermarket. You dudes are missing the point. The reason for eggs and bunnies is to symbolize the real meaning of Easter. New life and rebirth. I've been thinking we ought to do something in the spirit of Easter. Like what? Well, how about giving some new life to Mudfoot's place? He really has nobody and he's always come through for us. Yeah. And dumb Donald, you can bring that egg land rabbit of yours. Maybe you can get him to hatch out a can of paint. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! We'll be on our way to Mudfoot's right after the Brown Hornet. Yeah! It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's the Brown Hornet! Yeah! Oh, my Brown Hornet! Brown Hornet! Well, I can't wait to get to Armelo, Tweedabell. Yay! Stinger! The biggest Easter egg hunt in the galaxy! Wow! And do not forget who is going to be Grand Marshal for the festivities. That ever witty and charming superhero, me. This is Seymour of Omello calling the Brown Hornet. We need your help, Brown Hornet. All our Easter eggs are We've lost transmission! 
Mission! Brown Hornet calling Omello. Save your breath, bumbling Hornet. I, Taznak, now have control of the airwaves. Now let me lay one more on you, Brownie. I just jammed your control. Whose controls? My superhero intuition tells me Kaznak is not a nice man. Are you all right, Brown Hornet? Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. So, so who's, walking? who's walking? Brown Hornet, you must help us. Kaznak has stolen our Easter eggs. Without them, there will be no rebirth of spring. Yeah, we will have a year of winter. Fear not. I, the Brown Hornet, fearless superhero, shall retrieve the Easter eggs from Kaznak. Well, bombastic hornet, let's see if you can handle a little magic as well as you can give speeches. Here's Kaznak's fortress! Time for the Easter eggs to hatch is running out. I wonder what Kaznak is up to. Perhaps Kaznak realizes that he is dealing with the most famous superhero in the galaxy. And a dash of toadstool! Voila! That should do it. <laughs> right. I just had this cape pressed. <laughs> you think I added too much eye of Newt? It's time to take this storm for a ride. Look! See? I did it again. Your spring is saved. First, we must save Kaznak. Uh, but the time for hatching our Easter eggs. We'll lose the spring. Years of winter are not worth a man's life, even Kaznak's. Spoken like a true amateur superhero, Seymour. Perhaps my super speed can accomplish both feats. Thanks for saving Kaznak, but it's too late to hatch the eggs. <laughs> Wait a minute! You mean the Omelians gave up their spring to save me? I've been wrong. I felt it was the wizard's job to be evil. Is there something I could do? I could bring spring to Amalo by magically hatching the eggs. People of Amalo, from this day forward, I vow to be the most kind and benevolent wizard that ever lived in the universe. That is just the way I planned it, Kaznak. I knew even a mean and rotten villain like you could get the Easter spirit. What's this? To whom it may concern looking for me. If the wind blows this note away, remember, I'm at the store, signed Mudfoot. This is great. He'll even be surprised. Louis! 
You've been trying to get up in the world, Rudy. So I'm going to help you in your climb. Start climbing. Put some paint above that window there. I'll just put this mattress here so no one will get hurt. Rudy, you done it again. A little of this old Lou stuff will grease the way for some Rudy style fun for all of the guys. <laughs> hey, kids, what you up to? We thought we'd surprise you with a little Easter spare cleanup. Well, that's mighty nice to you guys. To remember me at Easter time. That reminds me, I got a leak in my bedroom. I'll just check those shingles. Oh, no. Hey, Mudfoot, not you. Oh! Oh, my boy. Mudfoot, Mudfoot, do you hear me? Mudfoot? Oh, Mudfoot. Oh, no. And now, these messages. Just give me the facts. Every time I try to enjoy a zinger, it gets zapped. See? I didn't see anything. Describe the alleged zingers. Well, there's devil's food with chocolate icing, gold cake with creamy vanilla, raspberry with coconut, all with cream centers. It's your imagination, Charlie Brown. There's no zinger zapper. See? When you have zingers around, there's no escaping uh, uh, uh. the zinger zapper. Any time pop tarts pop up, people pop up. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. People pop up with Kellogg's pop tarts. Pop up here and there. Pop up everywhere. They pop up with warm, frosty pop tarts. Pop up with strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, cherry. Pop up with chocolate fudge and Yes, Kellogg's makes all these pop tarts taste. Question. What's going to happen to Mudfoot? That's a good question. I wish I had a good answer. Rudy, you look bad. Poor Mudfoot. Oh. Don't take it so hard. Uh, promise you won't get mad if I tell you something. It took an awful lot to get me mad. This time, I think I got what it takes. Uh, I was just trying to play a little joke. Oh, and I put some grease on the ladder. That's why Mudfoot fell. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I put a mattress there so nobody would get hurt. You... <clears throat> cool it, Russell. Let's go. Standing here arguing isn't going to do my foot any good. Uh, excuse me for protruding, but we're here to see Mr. Mudfoot Brown. What room is he in? Room 207. Children aren't permitted to visit without an adult in charge. Children! We gotta see Mudfoot somehow. Yeah, but how? Hey, hey, hey! I got the way to see Mudfoot. Everybody under here. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Flora 
food delivery. Look, look, there's Mudfoot. I don't understand it, nurse. He just doesn't seem to want to live. I want you to stay with Mr. Brown, and I'll be back to check on him in 30 minutes. Yes, doctor. What are you kids doing here? Mudfoot is our friend. We came to see how he was doing. Your friend has been hurt seriously. We're doing everything we can for him. There's really nothing you can do here. Rudy! <laughs> Let's go back to Mudfoot's place. I want to talk to you dudes. I don't want the gang to find me here. Albert, hey, man, what are you blocking us for? We got bad yeah. vibes here, yeah. man. We don't want to... Now, I know how you all feel, and Mudfoot's my friend, too, but the best thing we can do is keep in the east of spirit and clean up Mudfoot's place for when he comes home. Water and Power, Gas Company Insurance, Acme Mortgage Company for Mudfoot. Oh, man. We gotta help Mudfoot with these bills. But how? Well, there's all kinds of jobs we can do. Walking dogs, cutting lawns, running errands. Yeah! Okay. Man, yeah look at that. That's for the school to help. The school to help, yeah. The bills! That's what I can do for Mudfoot. Hey, 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 let's scrub away, cause Mudfoot's got lots of bills to pay. I'm gonna skate through the slush. Be careful not to fall off. Me, the Peggy Flemings of North Philadelphia? Why? Hey, man! Wow, this is cold, man. Whoa. I thought you guys are supposed to be working. If you ask me, you cats are all wet. <laughs> and another thing, <laughs> Just don't stand there. Hand me my rubber duck. One thousand four hundred seventy, one thousand four hundred seventy-one pennies. We ought to be able to buy the whole hospital with that money, me. I can see you don't know nothing. That much money will only buy the top floor. Hey, what's that? Let's get it down here. Oh. <laughs> Fed Albert, you got too much balance to get that high off the ground. <laughs> Kindly step back, rookies. JC, just class. Wow! We ain't done yet. Look. Man. I ain't seen that much money since the armored car accident. Let's see where all this green came from. Dear Mudfoot, here's something to help you with your hospital bill sound. Anonymous. I don't know nobody named Anonymous. There ain't nobody named Anonymous. That means the dude who gave the money don't want you to know his name. There's something awful familiar about this handwriting. I don't get hurt. I just cause hurt. What are you doing here, Fat Albert? I'm looking for you. I was wondering if you knew anybody named a non a mus. Does the gang know I put the money in the can? No, just tell me. Mr. Rudy, I know how you must be feeling about Mudfoot. What you did was a dangerous stunt, but you didn't want to hurt anybody, right? What difference does that make? 
Muntfoot is bad off, and I'm the reason. I hope I can at least help with the bills. You're not gonna help anything if you get hurt, Rudy. This is a dangerous place to work. I don't care about me. Young man, you must be accompanied by an adult. I can't stop now. This is a basket. I do fill up a basket. Are you all right, Doctor? Oh, it's nothing, nurse. Just a fractured thermostat. <laughs> My foot, it's me. Fred Albert. Fred Albert? Hey, hey, hey. What you say? Oh. Hey, Mudfoot, you're looking pretty good. I bet in a couple of days you'll be going back to the park. The only park I'm going to is the memorial. No, no, don't talk like that, especially at Easter. I'm too old and tired of seeing my last Easter. Uh, you, you, you always watch the Brown Hornet, don't you, Mudfoot? Yeah. Huh? Well, remember the time the Brown Hornet went to go to a mellow for Easter and he had to save the planet? Oh, yeah. He saved that bad dude, Kaznak, from himself? Remember? Oh, yeah. That's what you gotta fight, because Rudy is like Kaznak, and if you don't get better, old Rudy's had it. I don't understand. He didn't mean to, but he caused your accident. Now he's in bad shape. Uh, only you can save him. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't want nothing to happen to Rudy. Then you've got to get well. You owe it to Rudy and yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, Fred Albert. Puts me in mind of the time back in 1906. There was old man Bert Clemson. Mean as a snake. He never had a kind word or deed for anybody. Well, when the big flood came, it wiped him out. And don't you know the whole town went over to his place to help him get started again? I remember asking my daddy why everybody wanted to help somebody like Bert. And he just said, folks just got to help folks. What? I got a surprise for you, Rudy. Mudfoot? I'm sure glad you're better. <laughs> Mudfoot, I'm the one that got you hurt. And... I can't tell you how sorry I am. It's okay, Rudy. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 let's do it the Easter way. Well, all of us together, this is the time to say thanks. Not just for the bill money and fixing up my place, but for getting me and Rudy here with you. You said it, Mudfoot. Come on, dudes. Let's eat. Ha <laughs> ha!
Hey, hey, hey! This has got to be the greatest Easter ever! And now, these messages. Why, it's apricot and hops alive. Oh, oh, my! Have you come to share my new strawberry shortcake cereal? Indubitably! <laughs> That's very nice! It's such a pretty strawberry pink, and its crispy strawberry taste is a very good part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Right! It even smells like strawberries. Outstanding! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very delicious! This boy is losing his bounce. Why can't he bounce back? He didn't fuel up huh? with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Yeah. Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you bouncing. Yeah. Cheerio! Not everyone wears Zips shoes because they can help you run fast. Not everyone wears Zips for traction. And not everyone wears Zips for an incredible performance. But when all is said and done, it's nice to know that performance is there. Just in case you need it. You really need Zips. You really need Zips. You really need Zips. You really need him. Bluebeard's the grumpiest pirate afloat. But we're supposed to cheer him up. Ah, who goes there? Snap, crackle, pop. Sir. State your business, mates. To put fun into your morning. What be fun? Kellogg's Rice Krispie Cereal. It's, it's fun to put snap, crackle, pop into your morning. Part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> A talking treasure. Sir, where do pirates come from? Pittsburgh. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> John Blackstar, astronaut. Is swept through a black hole into an ancient alien universe. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Blackstar is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. In turn, he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. who rules by the might of the Power Star. The Power Star is split into the Power Sword and the Star Sword. And so, with Star Sword in hand, Black Star, together with his allies, sets out to save the planet Sagar. This is his destiny. I am John Black Star. And now, these messages. I follow my nose. It always knows. I detect with my beak the fruit flavors I seek. But where? I smell those orange and lemon cherry tastes. Such a gloomy place to find that lively taste. Whoa! Looking for these? Ah, yes. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, these are good. I think I'll have some more. Better ask your mummy. <laughs> Next to my big kitty, I adore the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's Kiss. <laughs> Quiet, Woodrow. 
for the big taste you can't resist, it's the big taste of chocolate in a little Hershey's kiss. My big friend, I love the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's kiss. Mm. <laughs> Hershey's kisses, the little kiss with the big taste. <laughs> So, with Black Star and Mara, this Trabic delegation has come to your city of Gondar to seek your help against the forces of the Overlord. Why should we make trouble for ourselves? The Overlord has never bothered Gondar. But, Dal, it's only a matter of time before we feel the Overlord's hand. I think we should join the rebellion. I need time to think on this. Such a chicken toad. What is it? <gasps> Looks like a little gift from the Overlord, Prince Dell. Marakan, the city of zombies. Let's get out of here! And the city, gone. And Mara and Gossamer. And Pluto, we gotta shave them. We've gotta get up there first. Leave that to me. Whoa! Me and my big mouth. My spell is fading. We'll have to jump for it. Looks like we'll have to climb the rest of the way. It figures. Who rules in Marakan, Balkar? I've only heard legends. They speak of Shaldemar, the ancient, who drains the life force from people and makes them zombie slaves of the Overlord. <laughs> then we'll find this Shaldemar. Mara, the Enchantress, and a pair of trumpets. The Overlord will be most pleased when I bring you to him as zombie slaves. What do you mean? Who are you? I am Shaldemar. I shall drain your life forces personally. Not if I can help it. Uh, 
Thank you, my dear. That was most tasty. It leaves me hungry for more. If I can't stop you, then Black Star will. No one can touch me as long as I have the Sphere of Souls. And into the Sphere, your souls will go. <laughs> No more of you will escape. We'll never find them in this maze. We won't stop looking until we do, Dell. Not the welcome wagon. You are our prisoners. Keep your distance, buddy. Okay, you asked for it. What? full of zombies. Yuck! Maybe we can't fight them, but we can fool them. And now, these messages. A giant crab stealing our golden crispy super sugar crisp. Stay against the law. 
crab claw. <laughs> this time, the pinch is on you. Yay, Super Bear! Host Super Sugar Crisp Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Now with Super Sugar Crisp Cereal stickers, you can find your bike quicker. Decorate your skates. Customize your wheels. Or even label Mabel. Three different sticker strips, one in each specially marked bright new box of Host Super Sugar Crisp. Hey, Keebler, how's the old elfin magic? Ooh, pretty good. Ah, the old fudge on one side trick, huh? Wow, stripes! Yes, sir, we're making our fudge stripe cookies. We take crisp shortbread cookies, cover them with rich fudge on one side, and fudge stripes on the other side. Unbelievable! I always wanted to know how you elves got the stripes on your fudge stripe cookies, and I still don't know. Keebler fudge stripes, fudge sticks, and deluxe grams. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang, Nerf Boomerang. Easy throw in high or low. It comes back with each good throw. Boomerang, you can throw it by yourself. Or throw it with some friends. Nerf Boomerang is safe, soft fun that never, never ends. Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang from Parker Brothers. Okay, guys, let's give it a go. Try to think, zombie. Well, I didn't know zombies could think. I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie. It's Louina! 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 No, Del. She's a zombie. They are not zombies. Stop them. It's Mara! She has Goshima! I will stop them! All of you, get back! I'll handle Mara! I can't keep this up long. Mara's magic packs a wallop! You shall not... Get away that easily, Rebel! Black Star! She just doesn't give up. Black Star doesn't seem to be doing too well. And neither are we! I know of a spell that might just protect the Sagar. Good. Gossamer, fly Balkar back to the Sagar tree. Hey! What about me? You have to help Dal and me stop this Shaldemar character. Before it's too late. Oh, boy. Good luck, my friends! You're the lucky ones. You're getting out of here. Well, how do we stop Shaldemar if we can't even find him? Get back! Uh, 
dum zombies. Shaldamar beckons us. Looks like this group will lead us right to him. Let's move. Is it going to work, ball car? It has to work. Here comes clone. I've got it. The fire bat feather. Good work, clone. Yes, the fire bat wasn't too pleased about it, but here goes. This potion must be poured into the underground river that feeds the roots of Sagar. Ah! We haven't much time. It's getting closer. I'll take the door on the right. Dal, you and Rith take the one on the left. I'd rather take the next boat out of here. Whatever's down this corridor, it couldn't possibly be worse. Now to pour the potion into the river. These hallways are trouble. I think I'll take a little shortcut. Surrender, Black Star, to the Sphere of Souls. Reach the Sagar tree. Marakand. If only we're not too late. for this with your soul.
know. The sphere of souls. The life forces. They're escaping. Well, Dal, Lawina, we all wish you luck in ruling Marakand. Our first official job will be to change its name. To the new city of Gondar. And as for the people here in Gondar, you can count on us to help you fight the Overlord. Thanks, Dal. You won't regret it. Oh, no! Not again! I don't think we'll have any problem with this dummy. <laughs> huh. <laughs> and now, these messages. Let's get him to leave so we can play. Bunny, want to ride my new bike? No oh, thanks. Telephone, Bunny. Take a message, please. No one can say no to quick. Say, Bunny, want some quick? Great. I'll get it. I've got it. Oh, quick is so rich. And thick. And milk chocolatey. That was good. Oh, since you're not playing. Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. No one can say no to quick. Tidal wave? No. <gasps> Big soft liquid center bubble. A big burst of flavor inside. Hey, Chi. You know why it's called tidal wave? <gasps> flavor Mondo! Tidal wave bubble gum. It's a flash flood of flavor from the very first bite. <laughs> 